If you wanna win more paddle tournaments, then you need to be following these six tips. Let's go. Tip number one is all about the pace that you're playing at. Now in a tournament, adrenaline's gonna be high, you might be a bit nervous, you might be more excited, you're gonna be a lot more desperate to win the point. I notice that all the time this leads to people playing way faster and harder. Make sure you don't do this, stay as calm as possible, and especially when you play other players that are gonna hit the ball hard at you, you'll have this a lot, especially if you play tennis players, they're always gonna hit the ball hard at you. Don't join in with their game of playing hard, hard, hard. The next tip is a standard rule that I was always taught when I first started and that is the first return and the first volley. Sounds obvious, you want to return every single ball, you want to get every single ball in, but I promise you, before every single point, go first return and say it to your partner, first return, get that first ball back. You'll notice a huge difference because the amount of times you're going to lose silly points because you'll just lose that little bit of focus and you'll dump the return into the net or you'll give the opponent a really easy ball. First volley as well, obviously really, really crucial. Again, this is a classic one because you'll probably be standing at the net, you're waiting for your partner to serve, they might get a let and then you lose focus and then suddenly the ball comes to you and you dump it in the net. I would just recommend on that first volley, push it just nice and central, keep the opponents back and then you work your way into that rally. The next tip is all about the communication with your partner. This is crucial in these tournaments. You need to make sure that your partner, their morale is high, they're feeling confident, they're not feeling too nervous or worried and they're in a really good mindset. You can have the game of your life but if your partner is not up to it, you're not gonna win. So some simple tips, obviously this is quite obvious, in between points I would always recommend tapping bats with one another, saying come on, let's go, sort of motivating talk. I would always tell my partner where I'm about to serve to, where I think the opponent is going to serve to. I do need to remind some people, if your partner messes up, try not to show any body language that you're annoyed by that. No rolling the eyes or sighing or getting disappointed. Always just look ready, try and motivate them because it will not help you if you roll your eyes because your partner will pick up on that and then they're just going to feel worse and they might feel maybe more nervous going into the next point. The next tip is all about the warm-up. Now we all know that the warm-up is very crucial in the tournament. My advice is to warm up with your own partner. At the start of the matches in the tournaments, rather than just going to your opponent down the line, I'd get your opponent down the line, go straight in for volleys and overheads, don't waste any time doing ground strokes because your partner's going to give you the best feeds possible because they want you to do well. I've had it before in tournaments where I feel like my opponent isn't giving me very good feeds or nice feeds to my volley because they don't really want me to warm up really nicely. Instead, warm up with your own partner, you can tell them exactly what you need, whether that's overheads, a specific specific shot you want to practice and then you're going to be much more prepared for the match ahead. The next tip is another psychological one. Try not to pay attention too much to the score and focus on just taking it one point at a time. Very very common when someone goes 30 love up, 40 love up, 4 love up in games, 5 love up in games that people start to get a bit complacent, they lose the focus. I actually think the best time to refocus is when you go 40 love or 5 love up because you know those are the crucial points, that's the points that's going to get you the game or get you the set that you desperately need. Very, very easy when you're five level up and it goes 5-1 you think, okay, no big deal, 5-2, five, 5-3 five, and then suddenly you're battling it out of 5-4 and 5 all, and you might even lose the set from it. Trust me, it's happened to me in the past. Take every single point as the same, take each point as it comes and play the game point by point. The final tip is one of the most important ones and that is what to do in between points when you're receiving serve. Now it's very, very common when you're receiving serve or when your partner is, as you walk on court, or walk to move back in position, like so, you get to here and they'll just serve straight away, whether that's at you or at your partner. Even if you get in position, suddenly the ball comes in. And I don't think most of the time people are fully ready, but they are stood in position and it throws them off a little bit. This is something that's just worked for me loads and it sounds a bit silly, but basically when you go back, have your back turned and keep your back turned like this until you're ready and then turn around because then they'll serve. And I know this seems a bit strange that you've got your back turned, but it happens so much. People will just come back like this. Boom, serve comes and they're not even fully ready for it. You're in a tournament, every point is crucial. You need to make sure you're ready and focused for every single point. All of these tips are specifically to help you in tournaments, but if you want tips to help you in general matches and training, then watch my recent video, Improve Your Paddle in 24 Hours.